Okay, so welcome to the setup. So I've plugged in the back into the power brick and that's uh, plugged in. All that's come to life. Um, I have updated the firmware, which I'll show you, talk you through now. So we'll load up the tax app. Um, tap on the tax near two to connect it. There it is connected. Now we'll just tap on that, go to trainer settings. And the road field is at the top and you can have that 100%, 0%. So any bumps and that is realistic. So I'll put mine back up to 100. Go to device defaults. And because I'm using Bluetooth, I'll just turn it off. And next we've got firmware. Um, it's up to date, I've just updated it, so we're on the latest one at the moment. Go back, go to uh, support, all systems are go, which is useful. And um, we'll come back out of there. And we'll just have a look at the main screen of the text up there. Just scroll down a little bit, it's got all this stuff. I'm not really using it, so next we'll go on to this one, settings my profile and i've got all these badges in there that i didn't know about um maybe from my wahoo computer or something not sure uh trainer settings uh you can put your weight and your fdp in actually that doesn't look right i think mine is a 217 or something that's what zwift gave me anyway a 219 219 217 i didn't know Let's come back out of there and log out. I'm just going to put in the uh, 12 mil adapters for this. So that one just comes out. It's on a screw thread, 12 drive side. Just going to do that up. Yeah, about hand tight for now. We'll take out the quick release. Oh my God, there's a load of grease on that. Loads of it. 12 by 142. So we'll put it in for now. And then we'll see how the bike sits on it because I might need my spacer due to the fact that the caliper hits this side of the frame. So if it does, you put in the little ring spacer, this one. Okay, we've come to this part. Um, I've screwed it up with the adapter in and as I'm screwing it up, the frame is just as it comes to the end, the frame is bending in. So I'm going to put the adapter washer in and that just fits into there it just goes in the side like so and then we're gonna screw in the bit there we go All right now it sticks out a little bit more and be able to put that in Okay, so we've got the through axle in. Let's just see if it wants to move. No, that's much better. The frame's not moving at all. So we'll just tighten that up. And we can see that the brake caliper is, there's a gap between it. Now we're just gonna put on the cassette from my spare wheel, which is just there. It's an 11.32. The cassette is on and you need the chain whip because when you tighten it up, everything spins. Also, uh, with the spacer on my cassette didn't fit, so I'm assuming that's for a 10 speed cassette. So let's put the bike on and see how, what it looks like. One thing you will need is a cone spanner to do the adapters up, this side and this side, just to make sure they're tight. Okay, bike is in. It's all uh, set up. All looks good. Um, got the free tally. Um, so that's pretty much my setup. So now we're just gonna have to see if it connects to Zwift. Okay, so let's load up Zwift. Tap on the old loading bit. Um, at last it's found it. Here we go, controllable, that's what we want. Okay, to the... Um, Let's go to my profile settings 
and we can see training difficulty that's default to 50 but I've turned it down a little uh, text near road field on that's all good one thing I did notice is I couldn't pair this to Zwift originally because it was still paired to the tax app so I had to close the tax app down and then um, and then Zwift found it but I was pedaling for ages and I couldn't pick it up and I was like great I've updated the firmware and broken it but no that is all perfect that's the little setup there um, yeah my first smart trainer and that was pretty simple to be honest thanks for watching thanks for subscribing um, give me a thumbs up share with everyone and we'll see you on the next Kairos house take care bye